Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a JavaScript tutorial on free code camp. This one is creating strings using template literals. So template literals is a pretty popular feature in ES6 and it allows you to write strings out. And it writes out without having to use quotations or double quotations because sometimes that's very common. And it looks like this. So creating a const greetings and this is a string. And then inside of it, if we want JavaScript inside of it, we use the syntax of a dollar sign and then curly brackets, and then you close it for any JavaScript you want it. And it's useful because A, you don't have to use the quotations. B, that can notice the string is multi-line, so both the, in the code and output. So it follows a good format of it. So before you gotta do plus space, plus space for a literal, and now it's just how it should be, how it should look without the plus and the spacing. And then, yeah, and that'll be it. You can add variables, like I said before. And it's uh, pretty popular. And then when you code out, you can always just code out strings if you need to code out strings in your JavaScript as well. And it's gonna talk about in this example as well. So we want us to, use that iterative method, any kind of loop to get the desired output shown below. We want this from here. And so let's look at here. We have a results object, which has success, failure, skipped, and these are the, and it wants us from the, the results.failure here to console log to return this. So we're already looking to results off here. So that would be the R. So we're gonna look straight at here. And what we need to do is that we will need to loop over this array and add it with a string literal to this output. So how we're gonna do this is that we're gonna assign that variable that all this value to a const Failure items that we're going to return. And then we're going to set it equal to R, the input. And then we're going to map it over. Great. And now inside of that map, we're going to take X as a variable and we're going to we're going to return the string. And here's the back ticks. And let's just copy this. This is all the same except for the inside of the LI. Great. And now we're going to change this and we'll need the JavaScript. So we do a dollar sign, curly brackets. And then we'll need each X that we're passing each index that we're passing through it. So that's X and we close it. Great. So now if we console log failure items, we get this array of strings that we want dynamically. And that'll be all for this one. Thank you so much.